hair. I'm also this dog kind of like a border collie, so I'm gonna paint most of it black while leaving a to paint these adorable little farm animals any way we want. <laughs> Ooh, perfect! Try to fix the piggy's eye. A little bit. <gasps> what in the chicken? All the animals have been all painted. What happened? Full. Now that all of my other farm animals are all painted, own what paint pots and a paper. Careful doing the details around the face. Ooh, can't forget to paint the other side. We'll just leave the tip that this donkey has. There's just so much detail. So that first coat of paint on black to create a much softer gray. Keep it very watered down. Decal color. The flow a little easier. Cookie swirl. See? <laughs> And strong now. I still want to make sure I water down my paint because if I don't, then it will be very color. We're gonna mix up some white with just a tiny touch of brown to create a natural hoof. And then, all right, it looks like these animals are all ready now to have their eyes painted on. We'll do just a little bit of some gray around its eyes, also in its ears. I love horses, as you guys know, I am absolutely to their color. Oh no, Cookie fans, what's going on with Applejack's animals on the farm? Oh, this deer. Wow. A tiger? Or and we'll add another coat to the cow. So how's it looking over here? It's doing pretty good. Little bunny rabbit. Bye, cookie fans. It does not come with pink, but because we've got some red and kind of worked. Oh, it did kind of work. Let's see if I can go back and donkey. A gray donkey. Open up my black and my white. And a big gloss muzzle too. A little gray muzzle. Now with my pure, pure black, I'm gonna go in and paint black and that's it. To get this amazing shit. This one also may require two coats of paint. Wow, look at that curly coat. Go in with the second coat. And this time, I'm gonna be mixing pink because this has detail on this donkey. I love its really, really, really curly coat too. This one really, look at all of these little farm animals. What? We have a little donkey. I'm gonna give some details to my cow too. Take that caramel br is its eye. <laughs> I can try to do it with my paintbrush, but my paintbrush is pretty free. These colors, legs, don't know why. It's just a fan. Even this cute little piggy. Heck, we can totally paint these cute animals. A white, I feel like I kinda need first coat, so we'll let the pig dry, and then we'll size a little bit in her ears and on her feet. Now, for brown coat color, and she's got lighter hooves. So shush, now this black in here is very, very sticky. Dip it in some water and paint. So our little piggy, there's some donkey details. I'm gonna take some white, mix in with some brush and some fence. So we need to paint on a second coat. We'll even paint another coat on the chicken. Well, looks like. Yep, that's right, girl. I saw it too. Hey, cookie fans. Did anyone notice that there was another ant? That one eye doesn't look all that good. Try to white. We can easily make a little pink piggy color. Another layer. So this is our third coat of paint, maybe around her eye. Now for the foal's hoof, since I have plenty of them left. But honestly, I'll probably just paint the foal. I'm easy to paint. I just had to paint on some black. Check out the farm animals. You bet. Rinse away with some water. Most. Ooh, look of some of this brown. Now the last thing on to paint her little baby chicks. Even on my little piggy, I think I'm gonna add it. We're forgetting one more animal. Whoa, can't forget about the cow too. So instead of doing like a regular black and white cow hooves, same thing on the cow's hooves too. So we'll just paint them a little bit of it on a second coat. Side. And now I can go in and add some white mop. And we'll use very, very subtle details because of mixing that paint together. It kind of created its own bro the splotchy splotchy. And the little piggy's looking a little splotchy too. So let's start with painting this tiny little dog. So I'm gonna open up my black paint. I can really paint the full any one of these pieces so we can keep all the animals here at the farm. Woo! Color. And now just paint these teeny tiny little feet. Now this one is probably one of my favorites that I painted. I really love the eye and around its muzzle too. Put it in, create kind of a chickeny color. There we go. It seems like a pretty good color for a chicken. Bells on the chicken. Like add a little bit of some red here to the top of her. <laughs> Take just a little touch of red going on. And this should just about do it. Get Applejack and put a puppy dog. Okay, this one was so easy. Poor little piggy. Get a little eye. Okay, they're animals. So of course we can't forget about the adorable little stable mate full. Aw, say this set actually comes with its own. This one probably also will require multiple coats. So I'm afraid. Oh, I kind of got that one though. 
There we go. All right, Applejack, are you ready to show? Oh, oh, wait, that one, that one actually looks good. I have to paint two coats of pink on baby chicks by using just the tippy top of my brush. Now using that, so, so cute too. All right, Cookie fans, I hope you had a good time hanging out down on the farm with me. Painting a little bit of some details around her eyes. Aid, but I'll try it anyways. Paint a little dot for the chicken's eye. Is that a little bit better? Dog. <laughs> a hen with some baby chicks. A little piggy. Sin with a little tiny dot of black. There we go. Paint the little. And try that eye again. Come. This dog is teeny, teeny turned out nicely. Especially with like that little extra added. A little bit of amount of gray around its little bit of some white. Just to the bottom of its legs and colored in her hooves. So she's a few more coats of paint on the cow and a couple details on the see her there's some detail on her and her three little babies there so she turned out real I is already in the piggy oh it's hard I'll paint the chickens we're gonna use some of the butt but wait a minute animal hiding out in the background of this video but did you see which one it was was it a really a nice job of covering all a teeny tiny little drop of red just a little bit mix it to do is to dot their eyes so I'm oh that coat of paint is going on nice and add in some white mix 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 here we go. Very, very streaky, streaky. I want it to be nice and smooth. On her snout, I'm just gonna paint my very first layer. Use some of this caramel colored brown. Oh, it's hard to paint because the paintbrush is so. Go for a little pink piggy color. Oh, it's. So can't forget about the donkey. The donkey's hoofs and the tip of its tail. And it's a different color. Horse too already has black in its eye. And now the cam coloring on her legs too, just the lower half of her leg. Same brown color. We're gonna paint a really beautiful brown jersey cow. Add a little bit of some black on with this light brown. Now we're gonna paint a little mood. Let's go ahead and for negativity, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, cookie fans. There we go. See that second coat does really, really black. We can paint the donkey. Tiny. I want to be careful. Right, we cannot forget to paint ah, this cute little this pig. But no. Oh, there we go. So cute. Uh, really cute. Very good. Cheap dog effect. Looks pretty amazing to me. Okay, check out the hen with her little baby chicks, too. So, you can so cute. Now, I may have markings. I'm gonna take the back end of my paintbrush. Really, really nice. And then of course we've got few areas on the dog white. Mix up a second coat of paint for the donkey too. Ooh, there's the paint your own farm set. We totally get to create a very soft red. Just add some details right here of its tail white. Now we need to paint the cutest. A little bit of some details too. So I'm gonna mix some white with a tiny touch of red. Ready, dry. Now we're gonna my favorite one. I know who it is. It's the horse. Woo! That's a brown color. And I'm really gonna water it down. And I'm also going to be, I did a Jersey cow who's all brown, but has in some of this brown and just a teeny dab of red. Looks like a nice Jersey cow. And a little foal. That's six different farm animals that we're gonna be painting to you looking pig there. <laughs> oh, and Applejack, remember to paint in happiness to your life every single day. There's zero room, for, which the eye doesn't look too good on this side, but it looks all right on this side here. But very, very cute. We'll do now the little. See if we need to put on. <laughs> so the first pet is this little pig ever. So we're gonna have to make it as close as I can to these little bow. Holy horse crazy. Can't forget about this. Brown. So I'm gonna take some of this lighter brown color, mix in with a now to pick to it and carefully dot the eyes. Some of them are really hard to does look a little bit splotchy splotchy. Here we go. So there's the front and around her cow nose and also her underbelly. Just like the donkey. A bit bigger and darker than I wanted, but it's there. The dog's eye. Oh! A dog. Put a little bit of some paint on my brush. Dip it in some water so I can get it. It's like the donkey could still use a. She really turned out too. And then it's so cute. The foal is cute. Also, that I painted in just a really simple, just black color and added it here. So I'm gonna paint the. We'll do another coat. I'm hoping this will be the final coat on the cow. We need to do some detail. Its little feet and its super pink nose. That is a pretty cute. A little bit on its belly. Oh, and can't forget it's really beautiful black color. So put my black on my brush too. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> well, 
Let's go on into the barn and check on the animals.